Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Lee Legius, and today I have a pretty nice video for you guys. Sorry it's been a little while, we've been very busy, but I thought this one was a good one for YouTube, so let me dive right into it. We gotten a full mage blood worth of apothecaries in the little group thing we did. I'm going to show you guys in depth what we do, how we use, how the maps look, any kind of you know example, and show you the footage of what actually happened. You can see on the bottom left side of my screen the clock, right? I'm going to show these in chronological order so you guys can see exactly when what dropped. We're running a four-man strategy and it's pretty damn juicy. Basically more juice, you're just gonna brick your entire system. The system of farming and your rig all together. Let's dive right into it guys. So let's see some of these maps. What do they look like? Right? How juicy are they? Well, let's see. So I've got a few left, and basically this is what it looks like. We're running 60% Delhi, nothing more. There's a very good reason why. We're balancing it out really, really well here. Anymore, it's not gonna work. We're using a quantity setup, right? We're using Vantos Gamble. We've got a Eyes of the Great Wolf, or like we call them, the Ayas. And of course, we've got a Gold Worm. Everything is set up for quantity. And, well, you guys pretty much know the basic setup as I'm running it. Quantity, little rarity, and you run. Now, as for these scarabs that we're using, again, Winged Divination, Winged Breach, Winged Abyss, Winged Reliquary. Right, guys? That's what we're using right now. Now, guys, one thing that we shouldn't forget here is the Saxtons. What are we using? Well, Abysses, Alva because no missions on the map device. If you do have those, go double breach. 8% beyond, and this for the divines. We're getting about, well, up to 40 per map. Now there's a lot of people saying, yeah, but Abyss is in there, really isn't all that great. Yeah, but the layout really isn't all that great for breaches. As long as you juice enough, the density will be there, and you'll be just fine. The Atlas tree looks like this. Why? Well, we add more monsters. That's all we do. More layers, more monsters. That is what this is. If you dive in depth into each of these nodes, you'll see I want nothing except add more monsters. I hear people say, yeah, but what about Wandering Path? Or what about the strong boxes? No. Just no. The loot will probably convince you as we go through the footage. So I believe right now, and our entire team does, that this is the most optimal way to squeeze every drop of loot possible from this game. And that is kind of what you want to do. Especially if you Omega juice these maps, pay about two exalts a pop. Right? So that's the Atlas tree. The next thing you kind of want to do is have a decent team. Because you will be stumbling over abysses. You'll be stumbling over breaches. So you need a damn good team. Good coordination in those laggy situations. Staying calm, staying relaxed. People you trust, people you've been playing with before. The team you're about to see, yeah, they've been around the block. Trust me. So, how do we actually get the maps to this stage? Well, the Dali Orbs, it doesn't matter, right? You can use any old Dali Orb. As you see, I'm not using any specifics anymore. All good. You can do whatever you want on that. As for the mods, how do we get six mods on each of them? Well, there is a normal way of doing this, where you kind of take 40 maps in the menagerie and beastcraft and hope it all turns out well and spend five and a half hours doing that when you have a full tap, you can do that. Or there is another way. And I gotta say, viewers with a nervous disposition should probably start looking away right about now. Watch this. You guys ready? No, you ain't. Don't do it. On all of them? <laughs> Go for it. Fuck it. No, 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 no! So, well, you've used your maps. You've burned to either a few hours in the menagerie or a hell of a lot of exalts getting what you need. Will it still be profitable? Let's take a look, guys. Let's check out the first apothecary drop. Here we go. It's coming up toward me here. Oh, uh, yep, that one thing. Sorry. Yep, it's on me. Uh, Sanjing. Down. Yep, right on the way. Me. On the way.
Occultus. Oh, another Xavi. Double six click and the Jing. Alright guys, the next one is going to be a double drop. Two Apothecaries after making a quite a big sacrifice on my axe. Uh, I think this map damage. kind of beat out a little. Just the a little. damage is clearly different, but even without him in here, you're still freaking tearing him up. Oh yeah, 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 I mean... I mean that is kind of the point of the build, right? Uh, yeah. Support is good, but once you rely on it and you can't function without it, I don't know, it's not my thing. Apothecary 2! Bravo! Oh. I, was the, I was the sacrifice! You're welcome, bitch! You're no, no, no. Welcome, you, you, no, 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 no. You know what the sacrifice oh, was? Shit. Me plopping 39 axe on those maps. That's what's a sacrifice. Yeah, true as well. Alright, guys, next video is Apothecary number 4. In this case, we also dropped a 7 years bad luck right after it. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking this abyss here, guys. Go south with me. I'm coming. It's walking past this breach. See if I can find a way around it, but probably it's, not. It's, it's, you can take a, go up and go right. It came to here, right? This is it. Oh, I got your apothecary, boys. I got your apothecary. No. I've got your apothecary. No. It's on. We got you another one, boys. Slow. Number four. Number four, boys. Okay, now I'm proccing this breach. Yeah, That's yeah, another yeah, apothecary, yeah. boys. It's number yeah, four. Man. I told you guys, juice. Always juice. Seven years. Yep, I see. My... And the last one is Apothecary number 5. It happened actually in map number 13. Guys, number 5. And the 10th Ages Aurora. I think the lock started when I made the ultimate sacrifice. Sacrificing all my exalts down to the last one. Just to get some more juice. And now... Well, this is happening. Whatever this is. Let's go, boys. So that one thing that was in the way, I'm gonna, like, actually hit it. With a purpose. Oh my god, Jack, what's going on? Talk about juice. We got an apothecary. Another another apothecary. Okay, there it is. Dude, what? No, not again! An Aegis! Another, another Aegis! Apothecary. Yeah, there we go, boys. Five apothecaries in 13 maps. Say what something else. Fuck? If one of you tells me about small nodes again... <laughs> Alright guys, so you might be wondering, what was all that small node stuff about that I said there at the end? Well, there were a couple of people, among me as well actually, that thought there was a pretty good chance that doing the small node stuff with the wandering path would be a very good way to go. We've tested it out for a day, got pretty lucky that day, it wasn't all that bad, but at some point I just kind of went with my gut again and stick with what we knew from last league. And um, there was just a lot of people kind of struggling with that, they're like, no, but you should do this and you should do that. And truth be told, ever since we gotten back to the old kind of ways, the things we did last league, kind of just juicing by the numbers, more monsters and all that stuff, we saw an immediate, at least double if not tripling of the loot versus the wandering path and the small node strategy. Um, it's hard to put into words just how much better it is. Which is exactly why I told the boys, you know, we've been kind of having that running gag with them saying, but we've got a good idea, how about you take the wandering path? And they just keep repeating that. <laughs> So that's why I kind of said that, and uh, we had a good laugh about it. But yeah, guys, that's kind of the footage of those five apothecaries. It's kind of interesting if you look at the timeline, how long it took us to basically drop a full mage blood in cards with this strategy. The first apothecary dropped at 9.45 in the evening. The fifth one dropped at 3.02 a.m., meaning we spent... 5 hours and 17 minutes to get 5 apothecaries. That's pretty damn quick, right guys? Um, we thought it could be kind of luck or anything like that, which, you know, RNG does play a part. But guys, I mean, this strategy, just try it. If you have any questions, you can find me in the game. If I'm online, you can find us on Discord. Just go to the Twitch channel, you know, type exclamation mark in Discord. So you type it like this. And you will get an invite link to our Discord server. Any questions you have will be answered there, guys. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch in this video. I hope you guys 
are helped by this strategy. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to find us on Twitch, you can find us. I'll put the live link in the video description. I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you all for watching. See you later, guys.